World schooling means that we fill our days with rich life experiences. This is day 12. We just canceled our three nights we had planned for Samuk Champi. I think we're gonna extend our time here in Antigua because it's gorgeous and there's just so much to do around here. We organized our trip up to the volcano today with La Union Spanish School, so we'll actually be learning Spanish while we're hiking. We're really excited. La Union really feels like our family after this week. Headed to La Union for our departure to the Pacaya Volcano. Entonces, vamos para el volcán. Mi nombre es Manuel, el otro encargado. Hola, Brandon. After about an hour and a half drive, we arrived and met up with our guide, Mono. Cuando yo tenía siete años era muy rápido para subirme los árboles, entonces por eso me bautizaron con mi apodo Mono. We're about to hike the Volcán Pacaya. The hike is a little over three miles round trip, rated moderate and difficulty. Atlas is killing it right now. You go, Atlas. At is getting it. Nice hiking, buddy. There are several scenic viewpoints on the way up. You go, babe. You go, Papa and Atlas. Atlas and I were growing tired, and a friend allowed them to share her taxi ride to the top for just a few minutes. Muffy, look at me. Gracias, tequila. The boys discovered some interesting things on this hike. Pásemelo. Oh! Watch. Lo venemos. No es venenoso. No, es venenoso. You like Timon and Pumba if you eat it. Timon and Pumba. Come. <laughs> Atlas and I are deeply fascinated with bugs right now and find them everywhere we go. We stopped for a brief snack break on the way up before continuing on. That was being a ham bone. <laughs> and we got our new friends. Hi. I'm gonna have a different juice, Daddy. Angelitos. <laughs> Behold, Volcan Pacaya. There was even a souvenir shop near the top. Our guides warned us about the uneven surfaces and the steam Very vents hot. that were super hot where we were walking. Oh, it's hot. For those? Yeah. When we got to the top of our hike, our guide Mono took out a bag of marshmallows and helped the boys roast the marshmallows over the volcano's natural heat. Daddy, I'm the most stupid I want to see This might have been our kids' favorite excursion in all of Guatemala. <laughs> volcano toasted marshmallows are extra satisfying. Of course, Scott and I had to roast some too. Look. Oh, because uh -uh. they love each other. Oh. Right here. Gracias, Mono. Gracias, Mono. De nada. Mmm. Mmm. We're at the top of a 14er, we were at the top of a volcano. I wonder what the altitude is here. The top of the volcano sits around 8,300 feet. Much more satisfying than on the ground, right babe? I'm still on the ground. We are on top of the Pacaya Volcan, and there are little steam vents all over the place. I'm not sure the camera's capturing them or not, can you see that? There's like little holes all over the ground and steam's come out. They told us to be careful because it's hot. The ground's really e uneven. It's really easy to trip and fall up here. So um, Scott hiked up here in Chaco's. It's possible, but I would highly recommend you wear closed-toed shoes for this hike. These once-in-a-lifetime travel experiences with my family make me feel like I'm on top of the world. Arriba, arriba, abajo, al centro y para adentro. Okay. Yeah. Woo! A storm was brewing, so it was time for us to head down. Hola! Hola, familia! Hola! Volcano feet. Just finished the whole hike. Do you get a gallete? Oh, you're so lucky. You better say Yay! In Espanol, gracias, Arely. It has marshmallow on Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It was a successful trip and a great group to hike with. Both of our boys passed out on the way back to Antigua. The volcano really took it out of them. We just got back to Antigua from hiking the volcano and it is the annual flower festival. 
We're gonna peek a little bit right now on our way to dinner, but we're really gonna check it out tomorrow. But the whole city is decorated in flowers and tons of streets are closed right now. It's just beautiful. I am not joking about Antigua's restaurants. They are beautiful and the culinary scene here is fantastic. Each restaurant is like a tiny hole in the wall door that leads to a beautiful secret garden. All the food is gourmet. There are tons of vegan options, gluten-free options, and I cannot express to you how much Antigua is a foodie's dream destination. Out of your people. The flower displays around town right now are incredible and we can't wait to really check out the flower festival tomorrow. But we are a little nervous about how crowded it is already. We finally made it back to our place after a long day of adventuring. That's it for today on Conventionalist. Till next time, keep exploring life outside the box.